Oh, Stephen Colbert. Hey. You guys, uh, you guys know elections? We still have those. And, in fact, we had a bunch of them yesterday around the country. Right? Some primaries, a special election. Big battle was over in Ohio's 12th district, pitting Republican Troy Balderson against Democrat Danny O'Connor in what many are calling the slugfest in the Midwest. <laughs> the great debate near Ohio State. The rumpus <laughs> near Columbus. The 12th has sent a Republican to Congress for the last 35 years. And in 2016, it went for Trump by 11 points. So it should have been a blowout. But the race still hasn't been called. In fact, if the vote difference tightens further, it could trigger an automatic recount under Ohio election law. And under Ohio election law, whoever loses the recount has to go to the Lakers. <laughs> it was also... Yeah. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> It was also an historic night because 11 women, it's a record, I think, 11 women are now gubernatorial nominees. <laughs> and... <laughs> and in Kansas, a Democratic nomination for Congress went to Sharice Davids, a Native American, openly gay attorney, and a first-time candidate. The only way... There you go. Listen to that. Proof is in the pudding right there. The only way David's could be a more of a liberal dream is if she was a bundle of recycled straws. <laughs> but my favorite election victory yesterday was in Kansas's 4th District, where Republican Representative Ron Estes won his race against a different Ron Estes. <laughs> yeah. It was a huge win for Ron Estes <laughs> and a major upset for Ron Estes. The... Estes families are thrilled and sad tonight. <laughs> Ron Estes gave a moving concession speech saying, I would like to congratulate my opponent, Ron Estes. His name is my name, too. Whenever we go out, the people always shout, there goes Ron Estes, da 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 da. Of course. <laughs> anyway, of course, Trump is still on vacation at his country club in Bedminster, New Jersey, but he hasn't forgotten about the Mueller investigation, because on Sunday, the president played golf with Republican senator and man who just can't get that piece of popcorn out. <laughs> Lindsey Graham, according to Lindsey, during the outing, Trump brought up ending the Russian probe about 20 times. You know what they say? Trying the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result is the definition of a very stable genius. <laughs> and that's, that's not even counting all the voicemails he left. Hey, Lindsay, it's me, Don Trump, you know, the president. Anyway, I was just wondering if you thought about what I said on the golf course about, you know, calling off the Mueller investigation or whatever. I don't know, it could be fun. Call me back. <laughs> Lindsay, it's Trump again. I thought I heard the phone ring. I'm just calling to see if you were calling to talk to me about killing the Mueller investigation. Or wait, is Mueller there with you now? Are you getting rid of him right now? OMG, that would be so funny. Bye. Senator Graham, this is David Dennison. My associates John Barron and Donald Trump agree that it would be in your best interest to end the Mueller investigation. You can reach me at this number, which I share with Donald Trump for reasons that aren't important. Farewell. Hey, Lindsay. Donald again. Just talked to my friend David. He said he called you. Boy, he has got some really great ideas. Might want to do exactly what he says. Also, check your texts. I sent you 14, and you haven't responded. Also, I'm right outside. Let me in. 